Hi everyone, welcome back to my new uh, movie. Today we discuss about a, a very nice Japanese apricot uh, Prunus Moon Bonsai. Uh, this tree is from import from Japan and I got it almost two and a half years. I show you the whole side of the tree. It's one of my private um, tree of my private collection, and I really like this one. Uh, this tree is half the way uh, development. Uh, there are some ramifications. The base is very nice, and the movement of the tree is a great uh, movement. Um, but still, we need to uh, do more about the ramification. Um, so we will start uh, ramifying this tree and then correct some branches. After that, we won't do anything uh, for the uh, half of year uh, because the new grow will bury also the flowers. If you cut it again, then you will lose the flowers for the next year. Just like the other tree I discussed, all the trees have uh, so can be separated in different zones. The out range is zone A, zone B, and C. Zone A has big leaves, zone uh, B is the middle, and zone C is a, a weak part. There's not enough light, uh, air. So we have to defile the tree to get more air and light through the into the zone C. So it will be more stronger. Otherwise, zone C, this inner part, will lose its strength and also the branches. So we start defoliating zone A and then we will reduce the size of leaf in zone B like the size of zone e, uh, A or C uh, leaf. So the grow will be balanced. Here you can see the difference in zone A, B and C. A is very strong, B is middle and C is uh, quite weak. So we like to remove all the leaf from zone A, uh, reduce the size of leaf from zone B to C, then you have a balance. I start defoliating the tree from top to down, so every leaf is falling down, so we don't have to uh, remove it uh, when we work downstairs, it will fall naturally. I want to show you with how easy it is to use this scissor for uh, defoliating the tree. Here, look. So, done. After defoliating the stronger zone A, we uh, will start with zone B. You can see some leaves are bigger, but still, these are big but not that hard if zone A is not that strong. It's a little bit soft and less dark green. So, and because the leaf is not the same size, uh, to make balance of the tree, we need to reduce this leaf into the smaller size. So we will have a balance of grow in the tree. Uh, hold the leaf in this hand and then the uh, leaf cutter will just uh, switch in the length you want and you reduce it like this. We have to wire the new branches and I don't see some wire is growing in so I can let the old wire stay for this uh, summer and remove it in the winter. For example, this back branch died back. So happily, there is another one. So I remove the wire. 
just cutting away the old branches I why uh, I want to bend I uh, wrap it with raffia so it will protect from uh, damaging the bark and also rough um, old prunes is cracking easily so this will protect them from uh, breaking they will crack a little bit but it, it won't break For now, I will only remove this. There are new branches coming out, so we have a lot of options again. Uh, the first branch getting more ramification but as you can see uh, on the back side there is not a lot of grow um, I'm happy with this one in the first place this was only the branches on this one but now there is a new one coming underneath so we will stimulate this one uh, reduce this and grow and stimulate this part um, growing because if I remove this, I'm afraid that it is possible that this will die back. So we reduce the size of this branches, but we don't remove it now. We will remove it later. So I left only one bud and also for this one. And this one, I will remove it. So uh, this will be stimulated and these are reduced. Now I will wire these branches and reduce the size to make a nice composition out of the first branch. From the back side there is a new branch coming, so we have to be very careful with this one. We really like to keep this one. Standing very careful, not from the starting point, that will crack easily. But the rest is soft, you can bend what you want. Uh, if you shorten a little, the, the back side will grow. Now better. we keep this back branch, so we will uh, wire these. Uh, these three branches has to be wired. I prefer to use for the prunes. I use a small, uh, smaller wire and uh, wire more times so it will be more uh, safe for the tree, preventing from cracking. First we attach to the base. This is for this side. And then go first two times around the branch and then start wiring the secondary branch. Be careful with the fine ramification. And then go over the primary branch.
uh, to stimulate the growth here, we will reduce this in size. So here is a fine ramification, so we have to be very careful with that. This is okay, we can bend this. This one needs the other one, see, it will go back. So we will do these two branches together. This branch is very important. It will give the tree the back branch in the future. We will bring this also in position. So go with the main branch and then find your own way. This is far too long, we don't need that. Uh, I want to stimulate the grow web, so we will remove from here and there is a fine internode, we will use this and then stimulate this and also maybe some grow here. For the apex, there was me three small branches, so we will wire these branches and uh, put the top on it. Also, they are very small. Trees need to give it the direction because after the wood is hardened, it's more difficult to uh, bend this tree, uh, bend these branches. Now they are very young. It's easy to bend. So, so this is my uh, flower apron. Um, thank you for watching. See you next time.